Oh my god! Uh, no! I lost my cart, but I traded it for a box! I think this is okay, because I'm growing as a person into something not as good, into something more simple. Don't think of it as a demotion, Dad. Think of it as a promotion to a lower level. Hey, I'm Swarly, and this is Swarly Games, and welcome back to Control. So, I wasn't able to record all last week, and I didn't know that I was going to be able to until the beginning of last week, so I couldn't uh, record any videos in advance. But I am here, and it is now time to talk to Dylan. Her mission was to find Dylan, and she didn't specify what condition he wanted him in, like two bedroom, two bath, 800, 1800 square feet. Um, I give her a dream house, just a little bit over budget, and now she's having second, uh, uh, second, second, second thoughts. There we go. Like the house is haunted by a demon or something? I think he's fine. Therapy is not that expensive. Do you know who I am? But he came here and turned himself in and like, he's like, Say it. Somehow they got him in a cage. Wait, what? Dylan Faden's sister. Oh my god. He's talking in the third person. You, you want this Please to stop be true? That. Please. <sighs> not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. Nice. I mean, he, he literally does stop that. Those words. Okay. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel feel good wow Don't this is actually like too. really Help. cool i'll go but only to look for this light projector we can end this is this light projector not where polaris came from i'm gonna shut down the thing you came from and hope that you're still alive but i don't even know if i could trust this girl in my head but she's in my head so if she figures out that i'm on to her she's just gonna kill me like i'm not allowed to use my powers in here but hang on hang on can i crack the floor I want to crack the floor, man. Okay, okay, go there. Crack the floor. Oh, there we go. We smashed it. Oh my god, stop. Can somebody just, like, give me some stuff? There's some on the ground over there. Hang on. You can't take my pillar away. This is my pillar. Ooh, ooh. Oh god. Oh. Oh my god. Don't throw anything. Oh my god. He's stripping it down. Hang on, hang on. Whoa. I mean, how, how, like, the structural integrity, the only important section is in the middle. The rest of it is just meant to break off. Oh, here we go. It was right here. Do I have the six? No. Do you have the six? <gasps> yes, we get another episode. Wait, what? No. I can see you're upset, Meg. Everyone has different brains. Yeah, that's what I always told my mom whenever I got bad grades or didn't do my homework it's just that my brain is Some different than yours because i don't want to use my brain power on homework other. whose idea was this just right you'll get to sit in the big chair. oh yes we got to study for that test so we can sit in the big chair oh my god wow that's a big chair what if i don't want the big chair uh-oh Mr. Bone's gonna kill you. What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Mac! Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. The one with straps? All right. So there's a, a chair with straps? I mean, what? I, I wanna know at what stage of development did they, did they decide to put these in the game. What? What's going on? I can't pull my gun out? What is this? Bright Falls Summary. Unconfirmed threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake WA resulting in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake creating an AWE in which reality was altered to match that of a story though only locally and for a limited time. Oh my god, they're like actually putting stuff into an Easter egg. Like this is like really detailed they could have just put alan wake on a piece of paper and it would have been fine but it's like in the universe he wrote a, a book about or alan wake wrote a book and it became I real had gone differently and ordinary for us oh okay i can't use my powers here because i know i'm gonna take Machine the camera change. i can't even knock over the chairs everything is bolted down in this room for maximum security what it doesn't matter Wow. We need to find that project. I mean, they got the coolest possible picture of me. What could that be from? What, did I have a modeling gig before this? Like, last scene. This is her picture. She 
was last seen at like the perfect time because this is the last picture we have of her she must have been planning to leave because this looks amazing so they were watching me they've taken pictures of me how did i not see somebody through that window what am i eating i'm eating like a burger and I, it looks like i'm just photoshopped there and there's a person somehow like right next to me looks like they're right next to me but i'm like right behind their shoulder eating something we got coffee soap wow that is revolutionary i mean i guess coffee soap like shampoo that smells like coffee that's already a thing but coffee soap that's like a, the name of a business there i was a janitor she said she was a janitor that's me as a janitor oh my god they must have felt so bad for me shoplifting what they have a video of me shoplifting so they can see that I'm shoplifting. But the owner of the gas station couldn't see that. They know that I'm shoplifting and they're withholding that information. It's very important. Look at that. I'm on a date with somebody and they're videotaping it. This is crazy. Look, I'm in an alley being followed by somebody. Instead of helping, they just decided to take pictures. Jesse Faden, movement tracking. They're going to show all the places that I've been. Why am I moving around so much? All in the last month. I've gone to all these different cities. Eastward movement caused for concern. You know, this isn't The Last of Us. She's not walking there and going through all these cities. You could just take one flight to New York City. Or maybe she was following a trail of literal breadcrumbs that we left. Candidate P7, we have a new outfit. Oh my god, I thought that was just going to be like crazy stuff you unlocked after the game was over. But now... Oh, I think, it, I think you do it at a control point. So we need to dress up like P7 so that we can scare everyone. There's a whole, like, the sign for it. I know they have a lot of signs, but they have an ordinary sign. So ordinary was, like, really important somehow. I'm going to hit you with a dumpster. It says cardboard only, but I hope the company lets me make this exception. Hang on. Okay, yeah. I have the ability to pick up uh, bodies now, so I can do that. Yeah. He's, he's gonna stop shooting because he's so traumatized. Don't even have to hit him with it. Ah, uh, you were just dead a second ago. Maybe he's still alive. A any last words? Throw you into this fire extinguisher. I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog. Had a collar on it and everything. It had been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how it smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. What? Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna take this laundry hamper. I did get an ability where I could pick up bigger objects. So I guess now bigger objects are available for me to pick up and I can't even get it through the door. How am I supposed to get my laundry now? Hang on. Bring it here. Oh, now I'm under it. Drop it. No! I can't believe this. I was close. I was close. Hang on. Can I walk inside of it? No! There's an opening right now. I want to go in there. Maybe it teleports me to a random location. No! God, I had it. I had it, but I keep pushing the wrong button. Or not pushing any button. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go inside of it. Go inside of it. Woo, woo. Throw it up. No. Oh, my God. Okay, yes. Come on. No, no, no. Raise it, raise it, raise it. No. Okay, do that. And then put it up. God. You suck. Is it coming? Oh God! You're gonna break the elevator. Is it broken? It should be. It's not broken. All right. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Wait. Experiments. P7. Very. I I just yelled that right into the microphone. But P7. That was the P7 room, and now I have that outfit. Am I out of the cell now? So they were actually after both of us. So we were the only prime candidates because those were the only things I saw there. Just Unless if we have more here, but we better not. Because whenever I have a theory, you need to automatically change your story to match with it. Here we go. Control point. Yeah. We got to open this place. Oh. My stupid watch. Always, whenever I move it over, it pulls the thing out. I mean, that's just like clearly a design flaw by Apple. They should have made it embedded in your skin so it doesn't stick out. So, yeah. Oh. So yeah, that was like a- Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god. Ah, where are you? Hang on! I can't move in here. You couldn't have picked a bigger arena? This is the astral plane! This is the real astral plane. Dr. Darling, I wish you were here. I could explain this to you because you don't know what you're talking about, sir. This is the real astral plane. It's nothing like you said it was. Pain. 
elevators. Did I already make a joke about that? I don't know if I saw that, but it's about the pain that you feel when the elevator collapses and you die. Max weight, 20 persons, 3,500 pounds. I think you are assuming that people will be a certain weight, though no altered status has yet been detected. Why don't you just redact the whole thing? Nobody's gonna understand what, you, what you're talking about. Why is it all redacted? Like, is, is, I mean, how are people supposed to know what it is if it's all been redacted? Like, what is the point of writing these? The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. JF. What? Therapy session 2010? What? Why, why, why did we have therapy? Nine years ago. So it's like our therapist was working with them? I don't know. I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. We brought Neil to the dump to play. All right. Yeah, just to make him feel better, we brought him to the dump where he belongs. Oh. Oh my. These desks are just falling apart. They're like not even connected. Like they're not even screwed down. They literally just fall apart. Oh my god. Okay, so it opens doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. Is so all the adults just disappeared? That sounds like a dream come true. We all planned the whole thing so that we could eat Cheetos all day without people judging us. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I put Dr. Darling's face on my face? Oh my god. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes. <laughs> She's staring right at it. Uh, no. I lost my cart, but I traded it for a box. And yet... I think this is okay because I'm growing as a person into something not as good, into something more simple. Don't think of it as a demotion, Dad. Think of it as a promotion to a lower level. Okay. I know that you guys are- Oh! No, you guys are gonna try and kill me, but don't take my box. Whatever you do. You know, you took my brother 17 years ago, but do not take my box. Oh my god! I can't believe this. That was so important to me. Formerly P6, performed by Dr. Really good the push -ups. Asked like Into another dimension. Huh. I don't want to sneeze. Because I don't want my nose to bleed. They're going to call me Nosebleed Neil, even though my name isn't Neil. Candidate P7. Yes! We are giving in. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is awesome. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit with this outfit. I don't know if I want to wear it the whole time. Because I want her to look awesome. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. Neither do I because I paid money for this game. I don't want to lose it either. You know, like the whole thing with intellectual property, being able to take away digital things. I don't want to lose this game. Why? Therapy session 2010. It says that. So it makes me think that we just, you know, had therapy in 2010 and these people got a hold of the information. But then why would we be telling the person about all of this stuff? You're telling your therapist to be like, no, I'm not crazy. But when I was a kid, I found this thing that took us to other dimensions. And it was crazy. And then the police tried to say I was on drugs. They found drugs on me. But it wasn't that, I swear. It was a slide projector. And you're, what, 10? 10 years old? <laughs> Why'd you put a document up there? You think I can't get it? You think I'm not tall enough? Well, I don't even need to use my arms. Do not access sealed area. I don't think I can access it. Let me just tape over this wall. Oh my god. It's my childhood home. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. I mean, imagine being the construction guy for this place. Being like, you really want me to build an entire town just so that the main character of the game can see it and have a big reveal? You know, it's gonna take like a year to build all this stuff. Tiny homes are getting more popular, but this is like, this is like 20 square feet. Like, you gotta be serious for that. Oh no! That's my child at home, I just broke it. Oh my god, mom's gonna kill me. It's indestructible! That's why people use plastic wrap, because it's indestructible. I mean, one time I like dropped an entire pizza that I had wrapped in saran wrap, and it was totally fine. This makes perfect sense. This is an object of power. Like, why, I mean, wh whose idea was that? Are you moving it and you don't want the doors to come open? What? But this chair is also plastic wrap. Is this the plastic wrap department? Why is there... What? Is that plastic wrap? Why is there plastic wrap over everything? I have no idea. 
She's talking to a regular therapist right now. This plastic wrap is crazy. I mean, are they selling this stuff? They can make so much money. But I guess they're more of a non-profit. They're only here to, you know, save slash ruin the world. Take the hood of the car and throw it. There you go. I became a huge fan instantly. Jesse Faden, that's my car. What did they do to my car? I just ripped the, the hood off of my own car. That's why. I got the insurance. Oh my god. We got trash blocked up. Wally's been here recently. Okay, we made it. We made it. What is this stuff? Search for the... We should check hang on. that lab. Dr. Darling's lab? How many labs does he have? Like, I mean, does he even have any other kind of dog? Because, like, I mean, diversify, you know? The item was found in the penthouse suite of something Toronto belonging to David Wolf. Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranatural belongings, including blank blank. And this item... And this item. Oh, Wolf Globe. He had his own globe. But it's this reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. So he had his own globes. Maybe on that globe, there's an X on the island that he moved to. He went there because he was sick of his dumb family. Sweat clothes, sweatpants, sweat shirt, that kind of material. It looks, it looks comfortable, but not while you're doing all this. Looks comfortable for relaxing. Not for killing monsters. How many videos did this guy make? He, I mean, he's reminds me of myself, honestly. So, oh, oh come on! You couldn't have, the you couldn't have cut out the last part, the so it didn't show you he turning it off. The whole area to it, so he knew it was important. What? Dimensional research. We're finally figuring out the ashtray maze. I heard some, I saw somebody online a few days ago talking about how like this is like one of their favorite moments in any game. I don't know if it was a reliable source, it was just a person who enjoys the game. So they can't be trusted, but um, we're gonna go see what this is all about. We did it. Should I switch outfits? I don't know. It looks cool, but not nearly as cool as a leather jacket. It just looks cool because it's different. That is awesome. I mean, this is like, oh! This outfit got me killed. I mean, I was just saying that like, you're gonna get hot wearing that. And you're going to fall off because you're so distracted by how stylish you look. I'm going to end it right there. Um, this was great. We learned some stuff. We learned that people have been following her and that she is terrible at identifying people taking pictures of her. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. Um, I'll see you in a few seconds when you click on the next one. So good night and good luck.